Hello, my name is Gaurav and we are continuing the series where various testers has, have given advice based on their experience on various topics in testing. Today's topic is around automation. So we are covering this huge mind map which is being prepared from a book. I have shared most of the topics like testing tips, test how we are to learn automation and there are some advices which I'm going to cover if you see so many mind maps are there. So today's topic is about automation. So there are some myths, some things which should be taken care of while you are doing automation. These are small things which people have shared on their basis of their experience and we should be really aware about it. So let's go through it one by one. So test automation is not automatic. You don't think that, okay, now you did automation and things will work fine and everything would be some magic like of thing will happen. That is not going to happen. You should understand that. So test craftsmanship is a precursor, right? So you need to revise your uh, basics, right? Your testing should be strong. Why? Because Automation helps in testing. It's not testing in itself. It makes the execution fast, right? But it's not testing. It's just doing the test execution fast. And it is a tester's assistant. It will help you in doing the test execution part. Automation is not doing any test planning, test designing. All those things are being taken care still by people only, right? Nobody's writing the scenarios for you. So test automation is helping you. It's an assistant assistance for you, right? Not the other way around. And don't do automation because a client wants it, right? You have to do your homework, whether it is possible or not. Go for feasibility, whether it is helping you or not, right? Uh, don't do it because somebody said to you, management wants that, right? We have to do scenario by scenario. Check it out whether it is doable, whether there is any ROI or not. It's a tool, it's not the goal, right? Testing is the goal. Automation is uh, not the goal. It can help you uh, to solve problems and yeah, not to chase it. There are some older products where some of the portion is difficult uh, to automate or you will find uh, like you should search for alternative tools as well, right? If you can't do it with uh, one tool, right? And you can focus more on testing. Uh, it's not that you should leave automation, you should do it, right? But not to chase it, right? And there would be times when you see green reports for many days, right? Uh, you should do analysis on the results as well, right? Every time you see a green report does not mean, uh, right, things are fine. Uh, you should have such scripts which help you in catching bugs, then your automation is doing good thing. Right. It's not that it will always catch bugs, but yeah, it should be uh, written good, good in a good manner. Right. And your automation should have reusability. It's not that suppose you're doing the same operation and you have to write all the things again, right? There should be a good framework. It should reduce uh, the same work that people are doing by which people get bored, right? That's what the automation is for. Now, this is a very important point, like where it should be done, right? As uh, the it's related to the points that we have discussed earlier, right? You should start with the use cases where you understand first, right? Where you know the in and out for it, right? It's in a stable position uh, and the task is repetitive, right? Humans find it boring, but machine will not find it boring. So you should find those tasks which are repetitive, give preference to them. Uh, right and the stable areas because there is a maintenance involved in automation right so if something is changing every week or month gen generally like ui customer changes a lot right so you can give preference to api over there right and automate things you understand right many a times uh, there are uh, engineers automation engineers you will ask them what will happen what you will do if a script will fail, the answer would be like, we'll go to the manual tester. So it's better to know things like if you do it manually first, you have a better understanding, you can automate in a better way, right? Automation should not be done for anything and everything. And all these are advices from the tester, right? I'm not giving it uh, based on my personal experience. I have also seen many of these things, but this is taken from the book, uh, Tester Tips for 21 Days. Okay, proficient manual testing is mandatory, right? So yeah, there is a thinking that uh, you can replace 
there could be some products where uh, they are doing it uh, like uh, there will be very less companies where you think that there is a button press and things goes in production there are companies like who might be doing it right uh, i'm not saying that uh, but yeah manual testing still has its importance when the things come when a new thing come for the first time you uh, you just don't directly automate it you first check it manually whether things are fine as uh, as it's said earlier right we want stable things to automate so that we can save some time right and you can prioritize critical business value cases right suppose there are 100 cases it's not that you have to pick all of them you can uh, first pick the api layer right uh, do it because it's more stable compared to ui and you can even have with your automation right sometimes the focus uh, we see that most of the people are focusing on selenium by using selenium the front end of it right you can have db assertions you can just write script write some sql commands some stored procedures by which you can validate uh, the database if the entries are going right and all right you can uh, prevent some bugs right somebody has shared the example in that book that uh, that in airline booking they found that the data was going in the wrong table right do in ui things would see good but we can do automation at this level as well right and use automation to test your project and uh, not to uh, improve your like just automation framework skills right if i'm working in one project okay let me try keyword driven how it works let me try page object model all those things uh, think uh, from the customer perspective and the product perspective then your own perspective right just to test your framework don't implement it but to test the product you should do the feasibility analysis uh, right uh, for the tool for the requirement for the test cases there are new tools coming uh, and we can use various tools for various things right don't mix and match right if uh, you find api can be done via rest assured postman and many tools so do the analysis which works best for you what kind of audience who is using it right so all those things matter feasibility is an important thing in sprint automation is a good idea try to do it here it's talking about the right layer right apis are or backend is preferred first then ui uh, which keeps on changing right and yeah this is uh, talking about the areas where you can think of automation right it's not that you just have to do regression or your functional suit automation can play a role for preparing your test data right there are some faker classes by which you can prepare test data or you can even use excel uh, right for preparing your test data and there is the test results like some reports get generated how you can optimize it you can how you can look at the logs like some uh, various applications work based on linux where you can analyze the logs right you can format your test reports so all these things can be done by automation people can think of those ways maybe writing a small shell script or perl script uh, which can make sense out of the data that is getting generated in logs right or the test results that can help you automation is good but yeah it cannot fix poor test design right if i write uh, some invalid 10 test cases then uh, the automation would earn me the invalid Uh, 10 cases right they will learn uh, they will run but they will not uh, produce any benefit out of it right so it's important to understand what not to automate right just don't get into automation because you have to make your coding skills better or learn automation try to add value and there are some areas where you can do better uh, leave those things for humans and decide what automation can help for so next time i would be covering what is automation must right while doing automation that will cover many of the technical aspects also of it but this is uh, important uh, in in your overall automation journey this is my channel and easy way to remember this is linktree/gorb uh, khurana uh, by which you can reach out to this channel and there are various playlists and videos that are available on this channel and you will do check the video description because there i share a link by which you can have the links for all this and you will find it easy happy testing thank you